I think that a lot of cities are yeah, challenged and being challenged about the, how they are going to solve their current issues and how they prepare for the future. Uh, there are a lot of reports stating that by 2050, there's going to be about 70% of the population moving into urban areas. So these cities need to prepare and plan. And the, uh, we from SAP would like to partner with these cities to make it sure that we can create prosperity and livability for the future cities. And you have uh, three things uh, to do for a, a better quality of life uh, mm -hmm. in cities. Uh, yes, we believe that yeah, there are three areas that the yeah, cities yeah, currently should yeah, engage and, and plan to do. Uh, one, uh, one area is we believe that yeah, uh, they need to orchestrate a symphonic ecosystem in the city. There are a lot of players in the city. They can only achieve uh, goals, sustainable um, development for the end users, for the citizens, if they bring these players together in this yeah, seamless ecosystem. Uh, we also believe that yeah, um, uh, with intelligent digital solutions, um, they can achieve yeah, prosperity and they can achieve also economic goals. And again, uh, with database, new innovative business models, they can move towards their goals to become a future and smart city. Okay. Um, Mr. Colina, let's talk about waste. Uh, it's uh, not as simple as it seems at the first moment, the topic waste. Yeah, so waste management is the important topic in a smart city because it's easy to understand. It's from political dimension, uh, very easy to market for the mayor and for the city to show something, uh, the, the transition to a smart city. Of course, that's only the, the beginning and it's a transparent beginning. And then you can do with the more experience and with uh, you can also do the challenging uh, topics in a city and put some sensors and places that are more invisible in a city. And that's why waste management is typically selected as the pilot, as one of the pilot scenarios in the city and one scenario. The other one is we have now the big, big trend with sustainability and uh, Friday for Future. And therefore people are thinking and connecting this with the private life, with the work in the city, and therefore also the sustainability aspects coming into the city. And the other third point is why waste management is a very good example, because um, you cannot uh, incentivize the citizen always with money. That doesn't work. You need to put some positive goals to the citizen so that, that they change, that they are moving, uh, that they are not driving in the city center, that are changing to public transport. It's not the not always the money, of course, for a lot of people, but not the only part. And therefore, um, waste management is a big, big part. You need to incentive uh, the, the people. You need to train the people that are better sorting. Uh, and, and therefore, this is a starting point. Sustainability is a starting point in general for smart cities. And therefore, it could be also called sustainable smart city or future city. Can you give us a concrete example for waste management in, in a city? How, how does it work in, in a clever way? Yeah, so one example in a, in a smart city or one transition here is, for example, city of Heidelberg putting sensors in glass containers. That was the, the, the uh, starting point. But in Germany, a big, big uh, trend or a big, big topic is putting sensors in all types of equipment that includes, for example, used closed containers um, and that have a more uh, not so stable, robust consumption. Uh, the other one are the big, big press containers that behind conference centers, behind big offices, in uh, industrial parks. So they are, have already the sensors and you need to use that data. And also the trucks in the city in, in regards of snow removal could be a big, big starting point. And that's what waste management department in the city is doing. And also the experience in the restrooms on the clean city is some part. So waste basket on the one hand side, but also the smiley buttons, what you know from the airport are a big, big part to sensor as the IoT sensor to sensor what the citizens are thinking and then improve the outcome, which is a clean city and secure, safe place based on clean environment. Waste management, uh, very uh, good and very important uh, example uh, for uh, uh, things to do in a, in a smart city. But but there are many many more topics in a, in a smart city. Can you have uh, Can you give us uh, some more examples? Sure. So um, there was a great example was right mentioned how we bring together IoT sensor technology and new technology intelligent business models and how we can really create an outcome. Um, uh, we worked also with several other cities. For example, Buenos Aires. Yeah, uh, we also uh, deployed the same 
concept about applying IoT sensors to make it sure that uh, when heavy rain comes that they can move um, um, uh, citizens out of certain uh, areas of the city. Uh, other example, applying um, uh, new technologies, for example, blockchain in the interaction with cities. So there was in South there a city said that we have so many siloed information sources and when citizen comes to our offices and they uh, need to take care of some kind of um, 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 uh, task or some kind of um, 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 oh. Yeah, boy, boy. <laughs> um, um, other issues at the city task, um, uh, they, they would need to identify themselves uh, over and over again. Um, instead of that, uh, um, uh, they applied blockchain technology um, uh, to have one um, information source uh, uh, from the citizens and they distribute it between all of these entities uh, securely and uh, um, up to date all the time. Thank you for joining us here in Stuttgart and uh, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>